The Global 30 International Program is a milestone, not only for Nagoya University, but also for the higher education in Japan. We are living in a globalized society. We need someone who can be a talent in the world stage. As a world-class university, Nagoya University has been ranked very high position. Also, the, our faculty members in science, engineering, are uh, well recognized all over the world. Japan has its own very unique academic culture, but because of the internationalizing of Japanese universities, it's also interfaced in very interesting ways with the global academic culture, and I think the outcome is very, very good. I think Nagoya University's G30 program has put together an outstanding faculty. We've also interviewed students very carefully and I believe we have selected some of the top possible students uh, that are interested in these programs from around the world. I think that in some ways internationalizing of universities has become a little bit of a fad. But on the other hand, it is possible through international programs and globalizing of education to create the highest standards and the most interesting possible education experiences for students. My expectations of G30 program are high. I believe that this program is important not only for Nagoya University, and perhaps not only for Japan because what we want to do in this program is to actually raise, educate new scientific leaders not only in Japan but in the whole world. Nagoya University has, um, has really, really strong background in, in science, in engineering sciences but also in biological sciences. Um, there are very, very diverse research projects uh, being uh, conducted here in the medical faculty in, and in the faculty of science here in Higashiyama campus. So our G30 program, we have both the foreign students and the Japanese students. And, you know, these Japanese students are educated abroad. They are returnees coming from different parts of the world. And also those who are studying, who studied in international schools in Japan. So thinking about where they come from, you can imagine the immense cultural diversity among the students. And uh, having said this, the atmosphere in the classroom is very international and it's really interesting. The classes, some of them are difficult, but I think any good college has difficult classes. There is a standard and Nagoya has a prestige to keep and it is part of the fun, having challenges and learning more things. The, some of the classes are more difficult than others. There are others that you know, like you immediately understand what they're looking for and you adapt immediately. Others are college level, so you have to take away the high school mindset and start from scratch and say, oh, I have to work different from here. But overall, I wouldn't call them difficult, it's just challenging. Well, I think part of the learning process is that it's supposed to be challenging, right? So I would say that I am learning a lot of new things because uh, there are a lot of things in high school that I didn't know back then. And I think coming to Nego University has broadened up my knowledge of a lot of subjects, especially in physics. There's so many concepts. I mean, I thought I understood during high school, but then when I came here and I was facing a lot of difficulties and things like that, I, I, I started to realize that there was so much that there was still to know about physics and a lot of different things that it's such a broad topic that is impossible to fully understand yet. I'm at a point where it's just a challenge that I uh, kind of take head on. And so if it ends up like, I just sit down to start doing work and then I'm doing work and I look up and it's four hours later, I'll just be like, wow, that's good for me. Not like, what am I doing? I need to go do something else. Nothing is better than having the staff from the real, real industry to come and teach us. Just in a few weeks time, we already dismantled a real car engine and we have put back the engine. So we already done dismantling the engine.
I began speaking Japanese or trying to speak it to Japanese people because at the very beginning I was too shy and I wasn't very sure about my knowledge and uh, should I say it this or that way. But uh, now as we're having all these courses, Japanese courses, and they're so fun and uh, teachers uh, are uh, doing their best to uh, provide the best uh, knowledge to, for us, I, I think uh, that speaking more uh, Japanese to Japanese people and understanding what they are talking about is a great reward. There are a couple of times where I get lost around the campus and I look very lost and somebody somehow, either a professor or a student from Nagoya University, would just approach me and ask if I'm okay and he or she will give me the appropriate directions although there is a language barrier as my Japanese isn't that good. So he would try his best, he or she would try his best with Japanese and a bit of English to just guide me through the entire process and yeah, they are very helpful and although they may seem to be very quiet but they are very very friendly and if you open up and speak to them and they will reply with the greatest pleasure as well. I had never lived uh, far from home and so like it's it's pretty crazy for it to be like my first time living away from home is 5,000 miles away like uh, I think so that, that was a pretty big challenge just because of the different culture and things like that. I went to all the places and the famous place in Nagoya, like Sakaya district, so there are so many shops and uh, I spent a lot of time with my friends there and um, yes, actually coming here I became kind of shopaholic, I need to spend some money <laughs> to buy something, <laughs> but yeah, and um, I do really like it, yeah. This year I'm actually 20 years old and in Japan, um, being 20 years old means you are an adult now. So there is this ceremony called the Seijin Shiki. So um, throughout the kimono hunting process, my academic advisor has been very helpful in browsing the internet and searching for the best kimono for me. I think life is in Japan is amazing. And well, before I come here, I imagined that it's different. That it was different, not like this. But I think it's much more better than I thought. So there are a lot of opportunities to engage, engage in, in this campus and the the people who live in Nagoya are, I mean, so helpful and I mean, even though they don't speak English that well, I mean, I have talked to a lot of them and they just help you a lot in a lot of ways. Just getting to interact with uh, all of the other international students has been really awesome. Uh, like, uh, getting to know, you know people from all over the world, uh, so many different cultures, very different from my own was just, is just such uh, every day, it makes every day uh, worth going out and seeing, you know, what, what my classmates have to offer. I would think the dorm is the best place to relieve my stress. Every day is a hard day, but whenever I go back to the dormitory, I feel so relaxed. There's so many friends, every one of us is like really good friends. We live the difficulty, we live together. We, have, we basically spend most of our time together, eating together, watching TV, I and mean, we share each other country, I mean we share our own country, interesting thing. It's like the culture has changed, I think I gained over here in the first few months, will, will be a treasure for me and will follow me throughout my life. The dorm itself is top notch because it's brand new when we first entered, like it's never been used before. And the facilities inside are perfect. We have our own bathrooms, we have our own kitchen. I mean, it's a bit small, but it has everything that we could possibly want. We have a mini fridge, we have, we have a desk, we have like a lot of things that I'm sure a lot of the other dorms aren't lucky enough to have, or at least it wasn't new or anything. Like that. Oh, and we even have a microwave. So <laughs> you can like, we can really easily cook and clean and it's a really, Great dorm, I think. It makes us feel less homesick and it makes us feel like we are a team, we're a group and, mm, and we feel that we have somebody to confide to whenever we face any sort of problem. So I think that's the greatest thing about the dorm life. Even like during these special um, national holidays in Japan, such as uh, during the new year and things like that, during, uh, there's a tradition of eating toshikoshi soba 
And our dorm uh, tutors, we, they were lucky, they were really nice enough to provide the soba noodles and we all celebrated as a big family, even though we're not related. You know, they treated us like family. I particularly chose the Karate Club because I have been training Karate in Mexico. So I wanted to, well, Japan is the home of Karate, so I'm getting to see a whole new vision, vision of it and a whole new style and philosophy behind it. And once I got there, I just wanted to stay there because the, the other students, the older senpais, are extremely nice and welcoming and they teach you carefully. Even if they don't speak English, they will welcome you and they try to speak English with you or explain things slowly for you. They give you very a lot of attention and it's just very healthy to have. You get to see the real Japanese culture, not uh, classroom, but society-wise and make new friends and uh, completely different kind of friends from what you meet in. Within the G30 and overall within your own country, you get to see new people. Nagoya is very well known for uh, those subjects and so um, I just think like this is one of the best places in the world to <laughs> study these things and so why not here, why not now? Uh, I think the students who will uh, complete their study here in Nagoya will uh, uh, will have no problem finding some uh, some uh, uh, positions or to continue their study abroad because uh, uh, first of all the, the level is very high here it's very good and uh, also Nagoya is a university and Japan is uh, famous in the world and they have good reputation and uh, it is known to be high quality. So this will be a big advantage for them if they want to find some uh, either position or uh, to enter a famous university to continue their, their study. Nagoya University's uh, Global 30 programs uh, has a commitment uh, from uh, the, the highest uh, management. Uh, we leverage uh, our strengths, particularly in the sciences and engineering. Um, with regard to our career services, uh, it is uh, focused around the concept of on-campus recruitment uh, and uh, not only do we have the traditional services of a, a career development office, but uh, we also offer uh, courses that are geared to develop uh, life skills uh, such as career and life development uh, and leadership and management. We could get so much support from the career center. For example, um, they check our application for the um, companies before we submit. And also, uh, they can offer the program where we can practice like individual interviews and group discussions. Yeah, and also, uh, there are so many counselors which consult with us for about the future career. And in that sense, I kind of uh, reduced my anxiety to the hunting, which was, yeah, good. Nagoya is committed to like the long-term sort of thing because, I mean, we don't need to make that decision for which lab we are going to join until, you know, late in your third year, or at least in the second half of your third year. And so I think it's cool that they have in mind that uh, we should be thinking about, you know, where is our future going to be in terms of both in like the medium long term, you know, four years from now, which lab are you going to be at? And also beyond that, you know, what are you going to do with your degree? We are promising students um, because many of the companies offer uh, the seminars only for Meidai students. So um, uh, after, after the, the um, Initial basic studies. The, the students will have um, will have the chance to join to join the laboratory and do research in the field that they they like. So I think they are going to enjoy that a lot. In my research field, actually, there is many uh, professors who is very good at plant biologies. So I'm really happy to come to this university. I would say that the most impressive thing about studying biology in Nagoya University is that. 
Uh, although we're still learning all of our fundamental courses in our biology class right now, I think that in semester two we'll be able to go to the labs, the different biology labs and the chemistry labs. And over there they have a lot of different equipment uh, that, can, that uses biotechnology, nanotechnology, and we can look at all these different types of cells and manipulate genes and use a lot of uh, technological equipment and things like that that Nagoya University is lucky to have. So I'm really interested to have a look and see what we're able to experiment with in the future. There are uh, actually uh, many uh, careers uh, that, that the students can uh, develop after graduating. They can go into the industry and invent some, something very uh, new, which we could not think about yet. And there's also a possibility to pursue an academic uh, career uh, becoming, uh, for instance, a professor or a principal researcher in institutes. And I think uh, there are also uh, many uh, possibilities to become, uh, to, to pursue a career. And, and it's international. We have many programs, exchange programs uh, with other countries. So you can uh, go abroad if you want to uh, pursue a career in that direction. So I think there are many uh, possibilities. In this university, there is a, a sport PhD supporting program for attending companies and maybe postdoc. So if you are interested, you can just go there and make an make application and then you can be a member of that supporting program. I feel honored and at the same time, I feel like we have expectations that we should meet and I'm sure a lot of people are expecting a lot of that from us, but we're, we're all trying our best to leave behind a good legacy, we were trying our best to really um, fit in, try to um, provide feedback for the students that are going to be coming next year. And hopefully we can leave a legacy that shows that we were a hard working group of intellectual, intelligent, innovative students and you know, that brought something new to Nagoya University. Hopefully one of us might someday win a Nobel Prize, who knows, you know. Please join us.